six of season 14 of the NASCAR Pro 1 Cup Series headed us to Blue Ridge Speedway for the running of the Pepsi True 500. Philip Goldberg on the pole once again, and here's 78 Brand Nichols already going three wide for the third position on the very first lap of the race as Goldberg trying to pull away from the four, and now the 78's moving up to second. But here he comes for the lead down the final corner, and now Nick Pericles, Isaiah Bernash also battling for the lead. A four wide battle for the lead. It went down to three wide, but leading the first lap is Isaiah Bernash in the number 11. He led the first lap in a very close battle with many other drivers. Eric Powers now on the bottom as Johnny Gardner as well. There you see Hergel Alonso, one of the winners, the winners of Levi Strauss, um, our last race. Here they go three wide again. This track can go three, four, maybe even five wide, but it's not a safe track to do that because a lot of wrecks can happen in an instant. Dion Scott, the new leader, Amy Shelley, oh no, John, wow, Johnny Garner just got in and there's a big wreck. Johnny Garner hit the wall and the wreckings begin. Our first caution happens on lap three, racing to the line, I think Mason Powers. Here they come, Powers going to get the lead of the caution. Sam Rogers on the bottom, Amy Shelley up high. They took the caution, no, oh, Mason Powers spun out right after he took the start finish line. Amy Shelley had no room and just, well, just had to pull the trigger there. I guess they couldn't get it, they couldn't separate enough and unfortunately the 88 is going to be out of the race even though he was supposed to be leading to the caution flag during the period. Here's the big wreck, Johnny Garner. A lot of drivers in it, including our winner from one of the other winner from Levi Strauss, Robert Piet, also in it as well. Nick Pericles is in it. A lot of drivers, a lot of big names in that wreck. And here's another view of the 88's incident. He took the lead, and then after that, Amy Shelley spun him out. And I don't know why that is. I guess they were too close when they, when they were trying to slow down for the caution flag. When Cobb took the lead instead in the caution, but here comes Connor Breton in the 27. Breton getting the lead away from the 95. Is Breton getting drafting help? They're going side by side down that corner. And the 27, Breton looking to win. He has more experience than Gwen Cobb. But here comes another rookie, Sam Rogers. And Nathan Hudson, the only two-time winner so far this season, looking to make it three wins before we get to the World Course Tour. And the 43 Ryan Acosta is now in the mix as well. Devin Whitston trying to make it four wide. And, well, they tried making it four wide for a bit for the lead, but it didn't work out. But Devin Whitston on the butt. Here to go down the butt and down the corner. But here comes the 31 Jacob Lawler. Jacob Lawler getting some drafting help. And Lawler getting help from Jordan Davis, who once hosted this race a couple times in the past seasons. Jordan Davis trying to become another winner here at Blue Ridge. He hasn't won in a while, but he's looking to get back to victory lane in season 14. Davis led that lap. Abby Sachs on the bottom now. It might be his turn to take the lead. And there's Alex Guerrero on the bottom. Here they come, final corner. Oh no, they get too tight and Sachs is spun. Oh man, Sachs is flipping. Everybody's wrecking Jordan Davis in it. Oh my goodness, Roman Rahal hard hit, and another other driver got a hard hit on the 21. Chambers is flipping, and here's another view of the wreck. A lot of drivers flipping. Sacks went upside down, again a couple bell rolls. Sam Rogers got contact. There's Rahal, there's Nichols, I think Nathan Hudson got in the mix. Oh my goodness, Isaiah Bernash might have as well. Yikes, what a second caution here today at Blue Ridge. It took out like the top 10, literally, almost the top 10. But Leia Walker takes the lead, and here comes 62 of Daniel Voiles, getting the second position from Benjamin Miles. Already gets a great start as Miles either just slept on that start, or just Daniel Voiles had a better start than him. But he and Dota, the defending champion, is now up to third place. Now Boyles is looking to take the lead from Leia Walker, um, and, and he will take the lead uh, from the 33, and the 62 Boyles takes it away. Ian Dutta is now up to second, as here he comes, coming down to second right now, and the 27 Connor Breton is going to follow him, and look at this, Dutta's going to battle with Boyles for the lead. 
as Breeden getting some dra drafting up to 16 to the front. They're not teammates, but maybe this might be part of Breeden's plan to take the lead for himself. Unless if the 16 has a run on his own to take the pull away, but looks like he didn't get that run as Connor Breen taking the lead halfway through the race. Connor Breen on the bottom, gonna try to take the lead. Cooper Siron, the rookie, is now in the top five. And now his teammate Eric Power is right behind him. Breeden clears everybody. They're gonna have to fight three wide, four wide for themselves for second, trying to catch who will catch Breeden. Cooper Siron has the preferred line. He's got teammate drafting help. Uh, from the 14, but the 14, he wants second for himself. He's gonna go on the bottom, gonna force Siron on the middle. His power is looking to get second. Breen does a good job blocking every lane he could, but it won't last long as the 14 powers is going for the lead. His uh, son Mason wrecked and flipped earlier on the second caution, on that caution on the way to their lead. On that last caution, the, uh, he had the lead and they wrecked out, so Eric's trying to win it for the powers. Is. But Benjamin Miles is looking to take the lead here with just almost 10 laps to go at Blue Ridge. Benjamin Miles takes it away. Down below getting help from Daniel Boyles. Boyles still trying to contend for the win here. 35 Devin Whitson on the bottom looking to get in the top 5. And now to 62 takes the lead away from the 25. Devin Whitson on the bottom as he's trying to get second and now pit stops on their way a couple laps later as Mitchell Riggs and others come down pit road it was is there like a speed limit entering pit road because they're going on they're going into pit road pretty fast faster than normal than any other race in this series we've seen well the pit stop cycled out anyway and with five laps to go we and Dutta retook the lead from Daniel Boyles but these two drivers would battle out for the final couple laps here at Blue Ridge and Boyles is closing in on Dutta in the 16. Dutta's the defending champ. He's looking to get his first win of the season. But Daniel Boyles wants to win too. Here he comes on the bottom for the lead. And Boyles going to take the lead from Ian Dutta with just only four like Coming into four laps to go. Boyles takes it from Dutta. And Boyles is now trying to hold him off. Lap traffic, traffic up ahead, that is Nathan Hudson in the 20. This could decide who the winner is. This might decide who the winner is. From the lap car, and Boyles gets stuck, gets held up by Hudson, and Dutta is away. Dutta takes advantage of the lap car, and D takes the lead. Retakes it from, Dutta with, from Boyles with three to go. But Daniel Boyles is not giving up. He's still trying to race for the win, trying to defeat the defending champ here at Blue Ridge. Here is Boyles closing in. It seems that the lap car was just a brief, well, just a brief road bump. And Boyles is still running like he, well, he's still running like he's good as new. And here he comes for the lead. Trying to retake it from Dutta with two laps to go here at Blue Ridge. He does. Retakes the lead. Holding off Ian Dutta on that corner. Dutta's only got two laps. Retake it from the 62. And look at that 62 go. He's going pretty quick. No threats of lap cars coming up. So it's one-on-one -on -one between these two for the win. It's like the uh, race, well, Richmond we had in the... Dascar Pro Series was one on one, but White Flag is out with one to go as Voyles trying to hold off Ian Dutta, the defending champion. Voyles hasn't been to victory lane since last season in Eldora, I think. No, you know, we didn't have a race Eldora, but it was a while since um, Voyles went to victory lane. And here he comes off the final corner. I think this would be his third career win in the Pokemon Cup if he gets it. He will! Coming off the final corner, Daniel Boyle wins the Pepsi True 500 at Blue Ridge Speedway. And he holds off the defending series champion Ian Dutta for the win under the lights at Blue Ridge Summit in Pennsylvania. It was a great race throughout, pit stops the side of the race, but in the end, Boyle's got the win away from Ian Dutta. Connor Breen, Eric Powers, and Devin Winston made up the top five, and the rest of the field on the left. As you see, we aren't going to be showing you points until Coca-Cola because I did this along with Coca-Cola in the same day. So you're going to be showing, we're, we're going to show you point standings after Coca-Cola, which is our next race. So be patient on the points. So anyway, congratulations, Boyles, on the victory. We will see you guys at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, the Coca-Cola Life 500. Join us then. So long.